Well, hello, this is Kelly, and I am the Mathematic Plumber, and welcome to video one of the Gas Venting with Table series. All code references will be made from the B149.1 Natural Gas and Propane Installation Code by CSA of Canada, and I'm using the 2015 edition. Now, I've already done a four-part series on gas venting, but that was more so the basics and the rule of thumb method of sizing. Now we're going to move on from that. We're going to move into engineered tables that we find in the gas code and also a bunch of GVRs. Those are general venting requirements. Now the GVRs and the code tables can be found starting at page 174 in the code book and moving all the way to page 238. There's tables, there's codes, and there's also clarifying pictures in there. There is a total of 16 GVRs and throughout the course of this video series, I will be covering 13 of them. The other ones are either unimportant or not for this level of schooling. The first GVR is C21, which comes on page 174 of the codebook. It tells us when we can use the code tables, with what type of appliances, and when we can use alternative sizing methods, which we call the rule of thumb method. So the rule of thumb method can only be used on category one natural draft appliances with draft control devices. As soon as we get to fan assisted models, we cannot use the rule of thumb method. That's where we have to use these engineered tables. Category two, three, and four appliances cannot be sized using these tables either. Category four is the most common type installed today, and that is our high efficient varieties. All of those use special venting. And so we have to go to the manufacturer's certified instructions to install the vent for those. GVR C22, which happens on the next page, talks about where we can run our vent outside. What they're saying is a vent or chimney that's run with exposed piping outside has a chance of condensing like crazy. Now, condensation inside a vent or a chimney is a very bad thing, so we don't want that. So that's why if we have a B vent or a chimney, it typically comes up in an insulated chase. It also says that if we have a B vent or a liner that's going inside a chimney, we're okay. That's considered insulated. Before we do any sizing, we should become familiar with the sizing tables. So turn to page 177 in the codebook to table C1. Capacity of type B double wall vents with type B double wall vent connectors serving a single category one appliance. Now, before we talk about all the other data that's on that table, let's flip to table C2 on page 186 of the code. Capacity of type B double wall vents with single wall metal vent connectors serving a single category one appliance. So the key difference there, table C1 is for double wall vent connectors or B vent. Table C2 is for single wall vent connectors or C vent. Now it does have an effect on the sizing tables because B vent is double wall. It's insulated slightly. That means it can handle more temperature and it'll also hold in more temperature. Therefore, it drafts better. So it is important that you choose the right sizing table because it can change your size. Let's take a closer look at table C1. If you look near the top, it says vent and vent connector diameter. So we're only gonna size this once. Once we size the system, it is the vent connector and the vent together. Over on the left-hand side, we have the height. Now this is the height of the vent. That's measured from the top of the flue collar or drafted outlet to open air where we have the vent cap. Now, if we look off to the right, we see the lateral measurement. Now this is a horizontal piece of pipe that connects the appliance to the vent. We call it the vent connector. It's a little bit easier to see if we look at the clarifying picture that's actually in the code. On page 226 in the gas code, you will see this picture and it even gives you a description of what it is. So we can see the lateral as L and the vent height as H. And they even show us D for the diameter of the vent connector and vent. Now the last piece that we need to look at is the appliance input rating columns. You will see one called fan and underneath that it will say min and max. That is the minimum and maximum BTU load for a fan-assisted appliance. Over to the right, you will see NAT. That's natural draft or specifically draft hood equipped appliances. One says max and one says DP. Future note, we will never use NAT max ever. That is for a leaky building. We will always use DP. DP stands for depressurized or an airtight building. First example, 
I have a 50 MBH or 50,000 BTU hot water tank and it is equipped with a draft hood. It has a vent height of 10 feet and a lateral of 2 feet and it has a single wall vent connector and a double wall vent. So I hope you picked up on the key word there. Single wall vent connector. That means I go to table C2 on page 186. I need to go down on the height of my vent to 10 feet. And then I need to go across on my lateral of 2 feet. So now I need to move across to where I intersect with NAT DP. The first one I come across is in the 3 inch range, but that's only good to 33,000 BTUs. If I go across to the 4 inch, that is good right up to 64,000 BTUs. Well, that looks like it's going to be our size. So we have a vent and vent connector that will be 4 inches in size. For our next example, I have a 125,000 BTU fan assisted boiler. It has a vent height of 20 feet. It has a lateral of 5 feet and both vent and vent connector are type B vent or double wall. Once again, the key word there was double wall vent connector. That means we need to look at table C1. Now we actually need to flip the page because we have the 20 foot vent height. So let's go to page 178. I go down to a vent height of 20, to a lateral of five feet. Then I need to start coming across to the right. So because I'm fan assisted, I need to go down to fan min max and I need to be somewhere in between those. If I look on three inch, 21, to 71,000 BTUs. Well, my boiler's at 125,000, so that's not gonna be enough. So if I move over to the four inch area, I'm gonna find out that I need to be between 29,000 and 143,000. So that should be perfect. The size of my vent and vent connector will be four inch. And that brings us to the end of this video. But stay tuned for the next video where we talk about sizing venting for multiple appliances. Until then, have a great day.